All right guys, so right now we are gonna go on a bike ride before we cook this short rib recipe, but it's gonna be a nice bike ride, okay? It's nice and sunny out. So be sure to subscribe and drop a like so I can, you know, make future content. So let's go. I just got back from the bike ride. It was amazing. Now let's go cook this awesome savory shortbread recipe. Oh! So let's first off start with two cloves of garlic. Just go ahead and peel it up. And you're going to want to chop this pretty roughly. Alright, once you are done mixing up your garlic, which is of course the hardest part, just go ahead and put it in a small bowl and put it aside. Next off, we are going to cut our celery and carrot. So get yourself one stalk of celery, but if you want more celery because you're a healthy person, then go ahead and get yourself another stalk. We are going to julienne slice these um, celery up, so small quarter inch cubes, and we're going to chop our carrot next. All right, here we got ourselves a decent sized carrot and I'm going to cut half of it first, but I end up using the whole entire thing because it is not enough. So you're going to go ahead and peel the carrot first, but if you are not as skilled as me, then don't do this because you can get injured. So just go ahead and slice your carrot up like so and you're going to want to cut the carrot in half and then in half again with the other half and cut it into small bite sized cubes. All right, here's the other carrot that I'm peeling up and gonna cut now, which I should have done in the beginning, but guess what, I didn't. All right, once you're done cutting your carrot, get yourself half a white onion and you're gonna just cut it like me to get this uh, nice bite-sized um, onion formation thingy. All right, now we got our short ribs. So I'm using thin sliced short ribs like you'll find at a Korean barbecue place. And I'm gonna use seven slices that are well marbled, okay? You wanna look for some that are well marbled. And we are gonna generously season this with salt and pepper on both sides. But you don't have to use this kind of short rib. You can use the thick ones you find at um, the American supermarkets and just braise it longer. All right, now it's time to saute our vegetables. So just go ahead and heat up a pan at medium heat with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Just add in your carrots and celery in first before we are gonna add in our onions. Once you add in your carrot and celery, give it a quick stir, make sure nothing sticks to each other, and set a timer for three minutes and just let it chill. 
Now you're gonna add in your onion, and about 10 seconds later, you're gonna add in your garlic. After you add in your garlic, just give it a quick stir or flip, and cook this for about one minute. Now we're gonna add in some spices. So I'm using some rosemary here. We're using about a quarter teaspoon. We're adding in some oregano, about a quarter teaspoon. Thyme, about a quarter teaspoon. You can use any spices you would like, but I just prefer these for an American dish. So just go ahead and stir it up and let it cook for three minutes. After three minutes is done, heat up a large pan at high heat and we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of oil and make sure the surface is covered generously. Once your oil is smoking, we are gonna add in our short rib and we just wanna quickly brown this and get a nice coat on it. So about one to two minute on each side. All right, after about a minute so or so, you're gonna see half of it starting to be brown and it's almost time to be flipped. So once that occurs, about 30 seconds later, you're gonna wanna flip it or when the blood starts oozing out of the bones. So just go ahead and flip it over like so and let it cook for another two minutes. All right, now with the leftover oil, you could either save this or dump it. I personally saved it and I'm gonna use it later on. So now we are gonna deglaze our pan with some red wine. It doesn't have to be expensive, it could be cheap and just deglaze it with half a cup of red wine. Once that's added, just get yourself a spatula and just scrape off all the little crumbs and pieces stuck to the pan. Once that is all done, just add in your sauteed vegetables like so. And we are also going to add in a tablespoon of butter. While your tablespoon of butter is melting, add in one bay leaf into the sauce and just give it a quick stir. All right, when your butter is all done being melted, just add in your short ribs. So look at all that juice oozing out of the cutting board and that's why we don't want to get rid of it. And now this is optional. I'm just cutting my short ribs right now instead of later, but you could do it later on. All right guys, once you're done cutting it, just give it a quick stir and we are gonna add in another half cup of red wine. So just go ahead and add it and we are also gonna add in some beef broth. So I'm adding about one and a quarter cups of beef broth, but use as much as you need to cover all the short ribs. You wanna make sure this braises evenly so there's flavor in every single short rib. Now we're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce and we're gonna add in a couple drops. Use as you prefer, you can always taste as you go. And we're using half a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. This is just for now, but I'm gonna taste it again later and make adjustments as necessary. Just go ahead and mix it around and cover it. And we are gonna simmer this for a total 40 minutes, but I'm doing half of it first. And we can also add in some cilantro. This is optional. I'm just using like two sticks of cilantro. That's up to you. Just stir it around and make sure flavor is being evenly distributed. Once your timer has ended, just give it a quick check and this is where you can taste the flavor. If you need more saltiness, just add in more soy sauce or salt. And if you want more like a uh, punch, add in some more Worcestershire sauce. 
just set your timer for another 20 to 30 minutes and look how amazing this rich uh, sauce is we have reduced this down to the point of where it is so savory now let's plate it so I'm using some cauliflower mashed potatoes I don't have any potatoes so I'm just gonna use this instead of potatoes just go ahead and make a good bed out of it and we are gonna plate some short ribs on top of it just go ahead and add a couple pieces the mashed potatoes are optional and if you have enough sauce at the end you can make a gravy out of it but I was too lazy so I'm just gonna pour it on top just go ahead and add some sauce make sure you get your veggies in just add in the front and we are gonna clean up the plate a little bit now we got some some color action so just add in some scallions and I'm adding in some lemon juice this adds a little bit of a kick and another flavor element which I like all right, you can also zest the lemon if you want. I am doing this because I like eating lemon zest personally, but it's up to you. Look how amazing this is. Now let's taste test. All right, guys, here we go. Our braised short ribs. So we braised this around um, an hour, right? So it's really thin, so we don't have to do much more than an hour or also get really like mushy and no. Mm. Okay, this is not regular mashed potato. This is cauliflower potatoes because I don't have, I mean, cauliflower mashed potatoes. Mm. It's definitely different. First time I had it, not bad. Got a short rib. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so beefy. Got the wine flavor to this. I feel like if we have more liquid, we could definitely braise it for a longer period of time, but we concentrated the flavor so much. This is the best you're ever gonna get. Go get this at the restaurant, $20 dish right here. Okay. Sauce is amazing. Real good, real good. Very little force, and it comes out like that. Mmm. Beef concentration, literally 10 out of 10. That is it. Please be sure to subscribe and drop a like below.